Everybody loved my last phone messages tape. So I am going to take you on an adventure. This is part one. And I'm going to introduce you to Joe. This recording came a long time ago. In 1986 or 87. Back when we had a cassette answering machine. And let, as a matter of fact, let me show you those machines. Before we got the phone automation in the early 90s, I think they're now 1990 or 91, we used to have a bank of three answering machines because we had three lines at the time. Now we have six and the automation answers four. The fifth line is answered by this machine that still works after all these years. It's unbelievable. And our sixth line is a fax line, so there's no, no pickup on that. But this is where we recorded all these messages. Yes, <laughs> we still have them there. Huh? Anyway, I'm going to treat you to Joe. This is call number one. I'm going to be presenting this in three parts. But I'm going to introduce you to Joe. And we will play the tape. And I think you will enjoy this very much. Let's count and how many times he says see If you do have one, if you can get it, how much it's going to be. You know what I mean? So uh, I'll get back to you. Okay. And, uh, you, know, you know, don't feel like uh, I'm, I'm putting you off by not leaving my number, because I don't leave my number with anybody. But I'll call you back, and you'll let me know if you can get it. Let's see. It's a machine called Seawolf, and I like it a lot. And um, well, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't be calling you. You know, I... Uh, Good. 
going to call everybody. That's true. Lots of people selling. You know, best condition cosmetically. I like it to look good, and I like it to be in perfect working condition. You know, but cosmetics, you know, the appearance, the superficial appearance of each machine is very important. It has to look good. Very important. And it has to play good, and it can't have anything wrong with it. Nothing wrong. I do. I'll call you back in a couple days or something, and Good. you let me know. But I'm not going to leave my number. No, no, and I'll, when I call you back, it. you let me know. And then if you still need more time, then I'll call you back again. It's very simple. Okay? Um, so you let me know. Um, you know, the Seawolf is fantastic. And then those um, the two driving machines I like a lot. Both. They're pretty cool. cool. So uh, you let me know. Um, if you can get them, and if you can't get them, you can't get them. But if you can't get them, how much they're going to be, you know, what, what the condition of them, you know, stuff like that. I know you guarantee all your machines to work me out. perfectly and everything like that. And, uh, you know, you know. And I'll call you back. That's you all. Call me back. Okay. And uh, thanks a lot, and have a good weekend. Okay, bye-bye. Now, what do you think of that? But, baby, you haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. So we will be posting part two of this conversation with my answering machine in a couple of days. So keep watching. Having a private party here at TNT Amusements in our maze-like showrooms. Did you know that we have well over 60 games on free play? Unlimited playtime in our action showroom. Try our antique light bulbs or look at our hologram collection. Plus, we're always changing games in the showroom, so there's always different games to play. And one of our party hostesses will run your entire party for you, making it real easy for you. I'd like you to meet my lovely wife, Pam. You know, folks, Pam and I were happy for almost 25 years. And then we met. Ha, ha, ha. 25 years, eh? That's not even my joke. It's Rodney Dangerfield. Mm. But it's banana cream. Mm. Look, your very own private party room. And we even show a classic car, too, while they're eating their food. We'll make your party a smash hit. We're in the yellow pages under the music. Hope you enjoyed our show tonight, folks. And we have a little bit of time left over, so let's run some bloopers. And now, the fun part. Todd is, uh... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Um, <laughs> everything I do stays here. Put it in the barn! <laughs> Put it in the barn! Put it in the barn! I can just see it now. The big cigar. Put it in the barn! It's hot impression. I don't know. I don't know. Here it is, the finger biting. It's never worked for a place quite like this, and I never thought I'd be here this long. Dean is very long. Worthless bum, no good, crutch a week, something like this. Stupid farm, my toolbox. Look at that, I'm getting cold. A little bit warmer, a little warmer. Here's the shirt, here's the toolbox. I owe 100000 on this, 200000 on that. I even know the pizza collar guys. Did you, see, did you see he was, he was going to walk by without stopping. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.